Good morning, everybody. It is earlier than I would normally film, but I wanted to jump on here early because I thought it'd be really fun to take you guys through my morning routine with my journals. So I have been up for a little while. Before I do all of my journal stuff for the day, I make my morning cup of tea, which I drink. I get ready, I walk my two dogs, and then I come back here get dressed for the day, and then sit down with my journals before work. So today I thought it'd be really fun to kind of bring you along for my morning journaling ritual. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna start with the first journal that I like to write in. I usually update between two to three of my journals, depending on how busy I am in the day and Today, this morning, I'm gonna be updating all my journals with my fountain pen, as well as a gel pen later, but I'll show that. Uh, the one I'm gonna be using at first is this guy, and this is in my first couple of journals. I'm gonna be writing with this Koweco broad nibbed fountain pen, and I have it inked right now with J. Urban Le Dete. So, Let's just jump into it. I'm gonna move that over there and we're gonna update the first journal. So the first journal I like to write in every morning is my passport traveler's notebook. And I use this as a kind of morning reflection journal. So I just use one of their lightweight inserts because it has the most amount of pages so then I don't have to buy as many inserts. It also works really well with fountain pen. And usually I write about a page. Yesterday I had some thoughts on my mind, so I wrote a page double-sided, but normally I just write one single page just so I can download my thoughts for the morning and kind of see how I'm feeling for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by doing that. And it usually just takes me a couple minutes to write. I like to use a writing board behind my page just so it's a little more flat and then I uh, just get into it. So here we go. Okay, so that is the morning kind of download of thoughts. It's really short and I really like it that way, which is why I like to use the passport journal because this takes a super short amount of time to fill out. And some mornings I wanna write a lot, so I'll do multiple pages like yesterday, which is great. But this morning I only had a little bit of stuff to write down, so it's perfect for that because then I can fill the page and get a good chunk of thoughts down, but not be kind of trying to fill like a giant A5 or even regular traveler's company piece of paper. I'll probably go in later and add a date stamp just so I can have the date of the entry. Today is January 10th. So I will put that in later, but that is this insert complete. I think this took me like five minutes. It's really short. I feel like that's where my sweet spot is for journaling because it's a lot easier for me to be consistent. Let's do this guy next. Okay, so after my morning journal or my daily journal, I like to then go ahead and update my life vlog. I don't always do this every morning. It's not really something I have to do first thing, but I thought I would show you guys this guy because I haven't 
shared it yet. So this is my life vlog or memory keeping journal as some people might want to call it. It's pretty much a kind of download or highlights or summary of everything that's happened that day. So I just have the months tabbed with these Traveler's Company tabs just so I can organize myself a bit more. And I just go ahead and write entries for the day. And then I'm also doing, I changed up my whole planner system. <laughs> I'll film an update video on it, but I did um, take my Sora calendar and I've glued the QR codes on the days that have the special constellations. And I'm gluing in the actual cutouts, which is really fun. So yeah, I'm really enjoying that. It's really simple, but I feel like for something that's a daily practice, like this journal, for me, when I keep it simple, it's much more feasible for me to keep using it. So this was the eighth. I'm gonna write my recap for the ninth. On Sunday, I had a bunch of writing. As you can see, it was a really long entry because me and my friend went stationary shopping, which was really fun. But my Monday was definitely a little less eventful. So this will probably be a bit of a shorter entry this day, but I'll still write it out so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, and this is a good example. So <laughs> when I'm sitting down to write this, I'm like thinking to myself, wait, what did I even do Monday? This is where I will pull out my bullet journal and I'll reference what I did because it just, sometimes it takes me a minute to remember what actually happened. So let's see here. I went to a class, so I did a workout. I did my Patreon reward. I, I'll show you guys. I did a print test for them. They look like this. It's a printable of my bullet journal key. So it's this guy here that I did for my bullet journal. So I made it a digital download so you can download it with my signifiers or just blank if you want to fill it up yourself in black and of course brown because you guys know i only write in brown ink and yeah that's going to be available soon for the star tier of patrons so yeah i test printed that yesterday and it looks good so i just need to release that now and then i think i just you know did my work stuff and then got organized for the day so i think i'll write about I don't write about every single thing that happened, but I think I'll write about doing the patron reward and... Oh, I also watched the first episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, season 15, so I'll write that down too. Okay, so that is that one down. Pretty short. Why I like using a Stalogy for this kind of life vlogging is I like being able to write as much or actually this isn't even that little I feel like. This is actually like pretty standard, but I like to be able to write as much or as little as possible depending on what happened that day. So that is that one written out. So that just took a couple minutes. That's why I like this journal too. I just write an entry, it's really fast. Maybe there's a Sora calendar printout, which I just literally like rip it to size and glue it in. And I do wanna start adding photos as well, but I'm gonna wait until I get the new Canon printer, the CP1500, I think it's called. Uh, it's the like new version of the printer that you use for photos and I'm gonna use those so I can print bigger photos. I found last year when I used my Stalogy um, for memory keeping, it got really chunky really quickly because I used Instax photos and they add a lot of bulk. So I'll be adding photos in there at some point. Okay, so now we are on to the final journal. This is my bullet journal. 
which is also an A6 Stology. You guys know I love my Stology notebooks. And this one, I am just gonna go ahead and plan out my day. So I'm gonna write down my daily log, all of the events and tasks I have. I'm also gonna update my, this guy here. I'm gonna update something in here because I thought of a project that I want to do, which is I want to reorganize my closet. I have a very short term memory. So when I think of something I have to do, I write it down right away because I will inevitably forget. So today is January 10th. Do I have anything today? No, okay, so no events that I know of as of now, but if something happens in the day, I will log it down after the fact. So I do like this to be kind of a accurate timeline of what happened. And that's just the way I like to journal, but also it's helpful for when I'm memory keeping because then I can reference this and know what I've done. So actually going off that, I'm gonna write down here that I watched the premiere of RuPaul's Drag Race. And then I'm gonna write my to-do list. Okay, and I think that's it for what I need to do today, but I'll update it as I go about my day and figure things out. After this, what I usually do is I start working and I update my work bullet journal. I'm gonna make a separate video on that showing you how I update it and organize it for the month, but obviously I can't show that on camera right now because all of my to-dos are confidential but that would be what I would do after this. So that kind of brings my morning journaling routine to a close. This is all I do in the morning. It's pretty quick, I think. I feel like each journal doesn't take too much time to fill up and journaling in the morning is something that I really look forward to. So for me, spending the time sitting down with my books is really fun and just honestly one of the best parts of my morning. So. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and let me know below what you like to do in the morning with your journals. What journals are you updating? What is your routine? What do you like to do while you're journaling? I would love to know. And uh, besides that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.